the last game you played was The Forgotten Sands and you're hoping for a comeback to the series, Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is a pleasant surprise. The game manages to maintain some of the fan favourite elements of the series, such as great platforming mechanics, side-scrolling adventure gameplay and tricky puzzles. But it does fall short occasionally due to performance issues and some bugs. Other than that, The Lost Crown manages to deliver what fans are hoping for. Starting with the story, you play as Sargon, one of the eight elite warriors called the Immortals. Your goal is to find and save the prince on Queen Thomaris's orders. Your main task is to visit Mount Kaf and its ancient city, an area where time flows unnaturally. And an example of this can be seen when an NPC that arrived only one day before you mentions that 30 years have actually passed since they arrived in their world. Keep in mind that The Lost Crown is an original game and not a sequel or prequel to the other Prince of Persia games. The storyline itself is solid. It features a great setting overall, with multiple surprises to keep you engaged throughout your time with the game. It's a story of trust and betrayal, where things take some pretty unique twists that we simply didn't expect. However, it's not as long as we'd hoped for. Prince of Persia Lost Crown takes around 25 hours to beat, just if you focus on the main story, which is by no means short. But the game is so good you just want to keep playing. In terms of gameplay, the world is fairly big and full of distinct biomes. The enemies and bosses manage to stand out as they feature different movesets and styles that fit their biome they're in. And while The Lost Crown maintains the side-scrolling gameplay of previous games, it enhances it by adding a Metroidvania element, which introduces a large world full of secrets where new areas and rewards get unlocked as you gain new abilities. As a result, you'll need to backtrack a lot after unlocking these new skills. Additionally, combat is also a great experience. Sargon has various attacks which can be enhanced further through amulets. Amulets are equipable items found throughout the map that offer passive bonuses once they're equipped, like increased damage, HP and more attacks in your combos, so you'll want to hunt them all down. Combat is mostly based on parrying. It can be hard to get the timing right, but practice makes perfect. Additionally, if you block certain yellow attacks from enemies, you'll one-shot them if they're common enemies of course, or deal massive damage and leave them staggered if they're bosses. Overall, there's a huge focus on parrying. You can't progress without it. Parrying makes the combat feel more alive and reactive instead of just spamming auto attacks, so we think it is a good choice by Ubisoft. There's enough gameplay progression overall as you can upgrade weapons and amulets and find new items around the world, and the game motivates you to explore every corner in search of more amulets and collectibles. Combined with the various side quests for extra rewards, there's always something to do outside of the main story missions. Overall, the amount of side content is decent. There's not too much, but there's enough to keep you occupied for a few extra hours. And specifically, there are nine side quests and a fairly big map with multiple collectibles in almost every corner of it. One small setback is that while the map is huge, there are very few fast travel points. In most cases, you'll need to run back and forth a lot Additionally, if you die, the game teleports you to the last whack whack tree you visited, which could be quite far from where you die, and that's just kind of a lot of running around. Also, there are various difficulty settings ranging from easy to impossible. On top of those, there's a custom difficulty, which allows you to make the game as easy or as challenging as you want. You can also choose between guided and exploration modes. The former lets you explore the world with hints on the main story and some puzzles, and the latter disables all such hints and allows you to find everything on your own. I mostly played on Guided, which offered just enough hints to keep me going while also letting me figure out most stuff on my own. Visually, the game looks beautiful, as the biomes and enemies are stylistically distinct. New areas in the game are graphically engaging and keep the excitement flowing, while cutscenes are delivered with cinematic gorgeousness. In terms of performance, the game has fairly low system requirements, so it runs well without any FPS drops. However, it had its fair share of crashes. After every sort of one or two hours, our game crashed and we had to restart from the last save point. And also, we encountered an NPC dialogue bug where we would interact with the NPC and the dialogue wouldn't start for 10 to 15 seconds afterwards. During this time, our character was stuck trying to initiate the dialogue. As for audio, it's a solid addition. The music fits the theme of exploration and combat without being something jaw-dropping. The most impressive feature is that Prince of Persia The Lost Crown includes Farsi voice acting, which is the native language of Persia. 
Enabling that instead of the default English will significantly enhance your experience if you're looking for immersion. All in all, Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is a great comeback to the series. It maintains fan favourite gameplay elements and story while adding the Metroidvania setting to significantly spice up map exploration. With an immersive storyline and a vast world full of puzzles and secrets, there's a lot to do. The only minor setbacks are that you'll need to travel back and forth a lot and deal with the occasional crashes during launch. If you're a fan of the series or are simply looking for a good side-scrolling Metroidvania game, I highly recommend giving Prince of Persia The Lost Crown a try. You'll be pleasantly surprised, even if it's your first Prince of Persia game. Its story is distinct, and you don't need to play the previous games to understand it. Voxel Smash gives Prince of Persia The Lost Crown 8 out of 10. A great comeback to the Prince of Persia series with a unique story and an amazing world full of secrets and puzzles that are fun and exciting to explore. My bow serves a dual pap. I'll meet you up there.